Hey you guys, Joe to Joe and today we're watching reacting to episode, give me a second, eight of Pretty Little Liars season two. Uh, I really enjoyed the last episode, I think it was one of my favourites with season two so far, not as strong as the episode before that, episode six, uh, but I did really enjoy it and I haven't uploaded the reaction yet so I can't, I can't really talk about what your guys' kind of thoughts on the episode are as well. Um, but no, I am, this season's going down a good path so far, I, I still... And I'll mention it a lot, but I still think that Emily really needs to start getting her own story. Um, I do think like her rubbing her shoulder and all that is kind of leading to something. Uh, but yeah, has, this whole season, Emily's been the weakest by far. And it's like it's one of those like I really kind of picked upon it last episode where she did literally nothing. But like I said, I do think they are building up to something with her story. So that should be, hopefully we get some of that in this episode because something needs to happen with her character. Because um, I love Emily as well, she's like a really good character, so it's kind of a shame to see them not really try so much with her as they have with the other three. Uh, I'd say personally, like the other three stories are way more interesting. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I wanted to touch on really. So yeah, if you enjoyed them, please like, if you want to do, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncle reaction as well as early uploads, a link to the Patreon will be down below. But for now my friends, let's do this. Am I still shaking? I'm still shaking. Yeah, we're all shaking. Can you turn on the heat? You can make a slushy back here. Guys, why would Jenna give him that lantern? Pete, you don't know that she gave it to him. What do you think? He bought it at the Blind Artist Crafts Fair? Of course she gave it to him. Blind Artist well, Crafts Fair, of course. course. Nice. Love that place. They grew up across the street from each other. What? Okay, I'm not judging. I'm just <laughs> guessing that your little brother will find another hobby besides breaking and entering. <laughs> talking. Guys. I love how she just says it as it is. So good. If I knew, you would know. That, that's what I'll give the show as well. Like, all four are very different, which are like, Spencer's like the wise, and she was like... Yeah, like, say Hannah's the one who's like, kind of like, speaking and says aloud everything. Spence will say it in a more strategical, like, clever way. But Hannah's just straight up about it. Emily just don't give a fuck, and Hannah, Aria's just... Aria, you know. Sometimes I love her, sometimes I hate her. Oh my God, I don't hate her, no. Stop being home. No, he went to go get his parents from the airport, and I thought he said Jenna went with him. Can you walk any softer? Oh, please, Jenna can't hear us. She's blind. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh. Watch mine, because I'm about to have a big-ass bowl of Cocoa Puffs. Are you always like this before me? It's not just me. A scout from Danby's coming. This will be my last chance to turn this lie around before it gets worse. Em, you only lied to your parents. A big bowl. She pulled it in for about half a second. I thought you said you didn't have to be anywhere until 10. You were going to sleep in. Yeah, well, internal alarm clock. Some things you just can't turn off. Yeah, same. What's this? Yesterday's mail. What are you doing here? I was hoping to see Melissa. Is she here? No. She's Why do you want to see Melissa when Spencer looks and is like that? Yeah, I was so Art, you know what I mean? It's just. Even though she's with Toby, you don't can't really. Yeah. Really? Oh, and people. Is this like all the people? Oh God! I'm gonna get some bad shit, man. Oh bollocks! There you go. Like, right, because you just had that out in the middle of the car. I saw you race by my building, eh? Mmm, Ezra, Ezra. Campus today. Ah, I had to. I thought I would finish this thing. It doesn't get fired till next Friday. Hmm. Seeing that movie, it ends sadly. Well, we could give it a happy ending. Mm. Or she could get with Jason. I will call you. Bye. I think she's acting weird because of Jason. So, should I be worried about you and this Jason guy? What? No. No. Convincing, Aurea. Thank you for that. Go. But if you hear somebody screaming in the stands like a crazy person, it's me. <sighs> I love him, but it's like... Shit. <laughs> Gonna catch her up. I knew it would catch up to her at one point, but lie. Don't like it. Yeah, that's a watcher. 
Emily. Help! 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 L31 requesting a rescue ambulance unit at Roosevelt High School. Okay. Ten minutes. Oh my god. So do you want me to talk to this scout? You have a number for this report? No, don't call him. I'll do it. God, I don't mind. We get your motor. No, I, I don't want to say anything until I know when I can swim again. Okay. 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 Aren't also something old people get? Get that look off your face. You're gonna freak her out. Harper, what about <laughs> me? I'm like an undercover cop in a car following him. Why? I don't want to talk about it. You have to. You're in an elevator. Where else are you going to go? Does he know about the cop? No. <laughs> I haven't told him. Why not? Because I'm still thinking things through. What is there to think through? If I tell him, he might run, okay? I'm not ready to lose him again. Aww. Man, if the cops are really after him, you're going to lose him anyway. Yeah, you should probably tell him. Want me to run you down there? Or we could stay in. Get some food. Tom. Tom. You should go home. I don't want to have another meal like breakfast this morning. This. I don't know what this is. But. That's fair, I'm on us. Probably shouldn't have let you stay last night. Guys, I have to deal with this. I can't keep lying to him. I guess not. I have teething holes in your stomach. Moving on. Hey, I'm sorry. Hannah's well sassy this episode. In court in my living room. Mike on trial. Yeah, but the defendant didn't even show up. I got your fave. Oh, she can't drink coffee. Yeah, she's got a hole in her stomach. Uh, are you my doctor now? No, just checking in. So the good news is the meds are working and your stomach's on the road to recovery. Although I probably wouldn't celebrate this weekend with a takeout curry. <laughs> He's hilarious, isn't he? Panos came back with high levels of HGH in your bloodstream. Human growth hormone? I've never taken that. Emily, if you're using a performance enhancing drug or any kind of steroid, it's gonna show up in your tests. And you need to know the perils never of done that. Doing. I'm not doing anything. This is insane. Your test is wrong. Emily, these tests don't lie. And I did check twice. And here's a friend. That what? I asked your attending if I could speak to you first. Have you told my dad about this? I haven't, but you're a minor, so he will have to know. No, you can't. Please don't tell him. I could get kicked off of the team. It would ruin any chance of a scholarship. She's never done that, though. Please. I'm so I'll confused. take the test again. Just don't tell my parents. I'll speak to your attending. See what I can do. Oh, I'm so confused by that. Probably Paige playing games or something. Swapping test round because she's salty. I thought you wanted to catch a movie. Close the door. Or we can just be in one. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? What is going on? I said I don't want to talk about and it. And I said we have to. So once again, we're back on your schedule? Should I hurry up and talk fast before you move out again? Jesus, Mike. So he's sorry because his family life's not perfect, so he's going to go around and steal the load of stuff. I mean, if he wants to arrest you, what's he waiting for? What does he think you did? I don't know. But if he has a question to ask me, he needs to come up and ask me. I'm not hiding. Oh, so uh, he can't really just follow people. This isn't exactly in the yellow pages. Is this why you brought me here? I thought it might be safer here. I don't want to hide. You know, I'll deal with this. By leaving down again? This time, no. Good, good man. I won't. Say nothing to be scared of, Hannah. I am not going anywhere. My boy. If you do, can I come with you? I'll pack really fast. Seriously, you know that I'm good at camping. Cute. We knew that anyway, but what? Oh, was that? 
Oh. Emily, remember, A tried to plow down Hannah with a car. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm just <laughs> saying that A tried to get one of oh my and God. it didn't work. You swim because you love to. Or don't. Dad. Baby, we can find another way to pay for college. And I know that there are dozens of schools out there who'd be thrilled to have you in or out of the pool. That's cute. We just want you to be happy, baby. I love it. It's my favorite dad. I started to know what Isabel must have felt like when he was still married to me. Who cares about Isabel? Honey, I'm not gonna lie to you. Your father and I were both indulging in a fantasy, but that's all it was. He's made a commitment to somebody else. Well, he can uncommit. Hey, <laughs> Do you want to be with him or not? Because I thought that's what you wanted. No, I, I don't. What? I'm sorry. I know that's not what you want to hear. That was a waste of time. So that's that. Ugh, oh, dear me. Just a shambles, my friends. And the weapon was most likely a curved, blunt edge. Like a field hockey stick. Like oh the one shit! Me, the one that Jason was likely buried in my backyard. Dad burned. The blow to her head is what killed her. I don't. I don't Aria. Allison was buried alive. Whoa. That's grim. There a problem? Yeah, there's a problem. You stalking Caleb is a problem. He knows why you're here. Really? Yeah, and he's not going back. You know, he has finally got his life together, and you're not going to pull it apart. I don't know who you are or what you want, but there are people in this town who love him and who will protect him. So I don't think you're going to get what you want by spying on him. Get lost. I'll offer you, Hannah. Left it, that was the end of our story, just left and never came back. So you think you're going straight home from here? I mean, if, if you're up for company, you can stop by my place. He's obsessed, dude. It's Jason. You need to get that? What? No. What? No, it's no, no, no. just my dad. Ah. Uh, I should probably get home after this. They're pretty worried. Oh, okay. Know the name? Of course. Just tell me when. You're asking a bit weird, probably, though. Sorry, can't blame the guy. I'm telling you, he knows I'm tailing him. Well, if you're a bad tailor, mate. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't want to see you. Hey, what? Kids, though. those two kids will grow up to your age, and then those two parents would have probably felt off. So, <laughs> oh, this is cute. I know they're both sad. Did you drop one of the pages? It's just more disappearing. Of course. It's the walking dad. I thought that was the stupidest thing I've seen in my life. Because the thing is, whoever was under that, you would have just taken the sheet off then got up, but this person got up, looked at the camera, then went like that and tossed it. Oh. Fine. 
<laughs> uh, there we go, guys. That is episode was it eight of Free No Liars season two. Uh, prob honestly, probably one of the more weaker episodes of the season. The thing I did like about it and the highlight probably of the episode was that they gave Emily something. Like they actually, they actually had a story with the dad coming back uh, and this also going on in the stomach. Um, I had to be sassy making comments about that, but. I'm uh, going to tell the dad the truth and then obviously he was just kind of a bit more supportive about it. So that was, it gave like a more emotional kind of uh, little story for us. So we'll see what happens there. But I'm glad they actually went. Emily was like the main focus of this. Um, uh, Emily was the main focus of this Emily, of this episode, I'd say. Uh, Aria just kind of accompanied Spencer. Spencer's like the only one out of the four who's doing all the investigation shit and actually trying to figure stuff out. Uh, Aria was just there to kind of help her. And then also we had her and Ezra, a couple of scenes there. Um, sorry, it wasn't really that interesting at all. Spencer was all right. She she did, she got a bit more like just getting the medical files of Alison, finding out that she was buried alive and hit at the back of the head with a hockey stick, which well that could could have been a hockey stick, which seems interesting. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out more where page five's kind of gone. We'll find that I'm sure. Um, and then Hannah and Hannah's mom. So Hannah's mom, Hannah's dad's now left to go back to his fiance. Uh, like I say, I'm sure he'll be back at some point. I don't think that's the end. We're gonna. I don't think that's the last we're gonna see of Alison's mum and dad together, basically. And then Hannah trying to like warn Caden, but with whatever happening with this guy who's following him, uh, which again isn't the last we're gonna see of that. That'll pop up again. Maybe even next episode. Maybe in a, maybe they'll leave it a couple and then we'll come back. We'll see. But yeah, that was that was okay. It was, it, Caleb, Caleb and Hannah are like cute when they're just um, on screen together anyway. So that was pretty adorable. But there wasn't, even with Emily, there wasn't like an amazing scene. There wasn't a scene that stood out uh, for me and there wasn't like a story that kind of stood out. Uh, so I'll probably say that was uh, one of the weaker episodes of season two so far. So I'll probably go a 6 point, 6 point 6.5 out of 10 for the episode. That yeah, is the lowest of season two so far. Like I said, nothing really stood out to me. It was just kind of more progressed in certain stories along. I do like how they gave Emily a bit more, thankfully. Uh, which kind of saved the episode. Like, if Emily had nothing, then this probably would have been like a kind of five, but uh, we'll get the 6.5. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and join if you want the full uncut reaction or early uploads. A link to Patreon will be down below if you're watching this on YouTube. And yeah, until next time for episode nine. Thanks for watching. Peace.